Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks so much for joining us on my YouTube channel where I talk about all things Teslas, electric vehicles, and renewable energy. If this is your first time to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that red subscribe button. That way you stay informed what's happening and also helps my channel grow. Today we're going to look at software update 2020.20.13. This is the one I've been waiting for. This is the one that allows the Teslas to react to traffic lights, stop signs, and potentially roundabouts, including things like this. So again, will it react to the traffic lights ahead of me, on top of me, using Navigate on Autopilot? Yes, it does. There we go. We're gonna explore this software update and much more straight after this. Okay, so let's have a look at the release notes before we head off for a drive. Traffic light and stop sign control. So now the car is going to react to traffic lights and stop signs and roundabouts, especially where there is that uh, line across the road, that intersection line, which is what I've been describing in my previous videos. It's going gonna, it's gonna to do that during uh, cruise control and auto steer situations. I'm assuming it's going to be autopilot. I'm not sure about navigate on autopilot. We'll certainly give that a test today as well. That includes all traffic light situations, green, blinking yellow, and lights as well. And the notes are telling me that when the car reaches the intersection line, it'll slow down and it'll be up to me to make a decision whether I want to keep going if it's a green light. And I'll do that with a little tap on the indicator or a tap with my foot on the accelerator, or I'll just brake, of course, if it's a red light or a stop sign. If, if I don't do anything, I think the car will just come to a complete stop, which we'll, of course, uh, check out today as well. And it looks like when this functionality is on, the car will stick to the speed limit of the road when it's off the highway too. Other things, GPS update. Uh, it looks like there's increased stability and tracking to, to the GPS. So we'll see if there's any improvements in autopilot. Fallout shelter, which is now available, which I did a video with Joy previously. So check it out up here in this link. Theater mode improvements, which we'll check out later. You can now play, pause and skip the video with your steering wheel, which I'll check out as well later on. And there are also improvements with tracks, the music recording app on our Teslas. Okay, so let's enable traffic light reactivity. So let's go to the uh, settings. Let's go to uh, autopilot. We'll make sure this is turned on. Traffic light and stop sign control. And it's in beta, of course. So the same warning comes up uh, as the notes when you want to activate this. And I've already gone through all that. So we'll press yes for now. And of course, my disclaimer as always is that autopilot is always in beta. Keep your hands on the wheel and eyes on the road. All right, so it looks like we're all ready to go for a drive. Let's go on our usual route to the CVD in the city via the harbour crossings. Let's head out there. Okay, guys, so I'm en route to the Sydney harbour crossings and uh, I'm just on basic autopilot here. And uh, the first thing I want to test out is to see whether I can increase the speed limit uh, when I'm on this uh, traffic um, signal awareness uh, for autopilot. So let's just scroll up with the wheel. Yes, I still can apparently. Um, so I'm sure I read the notes that uh, you can't do that, that you can't exceed the speed limit while that functions on, but that's okay. Um, let's go back through the notes again. All right guys, so I'm on the uh, Sydney Harbour Bridge now, um, approaching it from the north side, heading into the city. What will be very interesting to see is that there are a lot of actually traffic lights on the bridge itself and there we go it's just reacting to it now <laughs> i was worried about this it would think that each um, set of lane indicators on the top there uh, are traffic lights so it's reacting to each one which is interesting what i'll do is i'll just use my stalk uh, each time to clear it but see it's reacting to each set of uh, lane markers up the top there and it's uh it's stopping at each one or wanting to stop at each one so um yeah, I'm going to have to react to each one, which is pretty amusing. I'm just going to keep my foot on the accelerator, I think, because each set of traffic lights uh, the car is thinking is a, is a traffic light. Well, this is a good test, I guess, to see how much pressure I need to apply on the accelerator to clear it. It's a fair amount of pressure, actually. Um, does the brake actually show up on this? Let me have a look. Does it annoy the cars behind me? the brake indicator. Oh, didn't react to these lights. That's interesting. Will it react to the next one? Certainly some traffic lights coming up. There we go. Okay, so I use my accelerator that time. I think I'm getting used to that. I think I know how much pressure to apply now. Okay, so that was interesting. I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. Didn't react to that one. 
that was just blank. Oh, that reacted with that one too, so I just cleared that one. And one more, I think. Let's lane change across this way, so we'll go into the city proper itself. Okay. All right, so now we're heading into the city. And this is what I want to test. Because there'll be a whole bunch of uh, traffic lights, of course. I'm gonna try and go, uh, if we can, I'll oh, see that. That um, reacted to the speed limit there. That was pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's see what happens there. I've just engaged autopilot and that just stopped for me there, which is really nice, actually. It's nice. I've been waiting for this feature. Because I've been saying in my previous videos, um, just be careful if you're the first car at a traffic light. But to see that happen, that was pretty cool. And see, for that, I just tapped my accelerator very lightly there. And uh, it's going to stop at that line unless I ask it to keep going. This is going to be really tricky because I'm crossing George Street. Uh, I'm just going to keep going, but what's the car going to do? No, I wasn't happy, so I just took over there. It's just way too confusing uh, with the tram tracks, which is fine. So what I'll do now is just try and go down one of the main streets in the city. Let's try Pitt Street here. Pitt Street's fairly busy. Uh, a bit of road work going on there. Oh wow, look, this will be interesting. A lot of cones here. This is a good one to test. Okay. It's going pretty quick with the roadworks. I might just slow it down a little bit. Whoop. Okay, I'll just slow it down a touch there. Okay, it's stopping for the traffic light. There we go. Okay, it's turned green, so I'm just going to tap it. Wow, there are a lot of cones there. Okay. Right, there's a traffic light coming up, but there are cars ahead of me, so it's going to slow anyway. Okay, I guess it would have reacted anyway to, um, to the cars ahead of me, but see what, whether we can try and get some more situations where we're the first car heading down Pitt Street here in Sydney um, I'll notice too that, uh, that the lights the redness of the traffic light is certainly of higher intensity um, which is good compared to the previous uh, full self-driving visualization update we had so I just tap the accelerator lightly there and off it went I'm very impressed here and we're heading into the mall now, so I'll have to make a decision soon to turn left or right. Um, it doesn't turn left or right at this stage for me, so let me just cancel for now, and then I'll swing a left to you. Okay, so we're going to turn right onto Castle Ray Street, and hoping we are the first car for these lights, and yes we are, so let's... No, no auto steer, there we go. Auto steer is on. No. But cruise control is on. Okay, I'm just going to... Uh, let it stop in, in 50 meters. Okay, put autopilot on. Okay, will it stop at the traffic light? Yes, it will. Nice. Cool, and there's a stop sign there as well, but that's actually one of those double stop sign traffic light things. That one's a yellow for some reason, uh, even though it's all red. Interesting. And when we cross this intersection, you'll see um, there are some lines in the middle there, so that should help the car guide through. I'll just tap the accelerator just a touch. And um, it should keep going there. Oh, bit of phantom braking. Looks like I need to tap a little bit more to get it going there. Otherwise, it would have stopped in the middle of the intersection, which is not good. So heading down Castle Ray Street, and we're coming up to another set of lights. 200 meters warning, which is okay. And it's a red light, so uh, it looks like the car will stop for me there. Yeah, that's nice. I guess the question is, would I have slowed down sooner before the lights? Yeah, it's not too bad. I think it's um, it's about on par with how much of a stopping distance I would have given this car at 40 kilometers an hour. It does a pretty good job too. I mean, it looks like it's crossing over the red line, but I can tell you just in real life, it's actually pretty good. Probably a better job than I would have done, <laughs> to be honest with you. All right, just tapping the accelerator now. I think I've got to give it quite a bit of tappage there. Okay, that uh, wasn't happy there. 
So we'll swing a left up Elizabeth Street. Okay, so we're on Elizabeth Street now. Let's engage autopilot if we can. Here we go. And traffic light coming up in 200 meters. I want to keep going. So I'm just going to tap the accelerator there. Oh, that's a good test. So the light has changed. So I do want it to stop now. I think the car took, uh, took note of that. Pretty sure. Because it was green and then the notification came back on again. As you saw. So that was a good test as well when the lights change after you've made a decision to keep going. Very good. Okay, so we're the first car for the next set of lights, which will be good as well. Okay, so, oh, okay, I wanted to follow my lane. Let's see whether it does that. Yes, it does. That was very smooth. And there's a set of traffic lights coming up as well. So it's a red light, which means I will leave my foot and hand alone. There we go. Very nice. I'm seriously impressed. Like, this is really cool. I didn't think it would come to Australia this quickly, actually. So, it's nice to see Australia getting things ahead of time here. Very nice. I think we're the first right-hand drive market, possibly, to get this feature. One of the first, anyway, along with New Zealand. So, thank you, Elon Musk, and thank you, Tesla. Very good. Okay, this time I'm going to... That was weird. <laughs> Sorry. Saw the guy in that little cart there. Um, so when these lights change, I'm going to um, use my indicator stalk this time. Let's see what it does. Ah, oh, smooth as. Beautiful. Smooth as silk. That was really good. Okay, so I'm going to use my accelerator this time. Fair bit of pressure to clear it. Yeah. I guess... Um, my question now is, what do I prefer? Do I prefer the accelerator? Oh, autopilot unable to proceed. Please take over. I've never seen that before. I will take over, actually. Um, I guess what... Yeah, my question is, do I prefer the accelerator or the indicator stalk? So far, I would say... Um, the indicator stalk is more consistent um, because I just know it's a tap down as opposed to the accelerator where still getting the hang of how much pressure to put with my foot so yeah early stages probably indicator but I suspect that with time uh, I'll know how much pressure to put or to apply with my foot and I, w I would suspect that the accelerator is probably my my go-to going forward with more driving time of course all right guys well that is probably enough driving in the city um, so we will head back north on the harbour bridge just do a little test with uh, navigate on autopilot hopefully on the bridge um, and then we'll do a bit of testing with uh, stop signs and roundabouts okay so I've set the route for Artaman which is on the north side uh, and it does allow me navigate on autopilot which is great so we're going to give that a try once we hit the Kyle Expressway so I'll just uh, swing to the left lane here and that way I can enter the Kyle Expressway ahead of me there onto the north side of the bridge I'm pretty sure last time it didn't allow me navigate on autopilot with the last update, so this is exciting. This is a nice update uh, allowing me to do so. Okay, so... I will, navigation lady. Um, can I activate from here? Looks like I can, and navigate is already on. Fantastic. Good, good. I saw that T-junction. That's interesting. That flashed up briefly there. I'll have to go back and have a look at that. Okay, so we're on the Carl Expressway. Oh, navigate on autopilot. Construction detected. Navigate on autopilot limited. Okay. Maybe that's what I saw. Upcoming lane change. Let's do that. I'm not on uh, Mad Max today. I'm just on confirmation lane change, so... I think I prefer that. Helps my blood pressure and heart rate. Okay, so this is a very twisty bit of road here. I normally go much slower than this, so we'll see whether the car will expect the same. Yeah, this is going way too quick. I'm just going to scroll down myself. Why is it going to go too quick across this? Like maybe even 40, because it's very twisty. All right, I'm going to go back into this left lane. Changing lanes on a curve. No, not happy. Okay, that's fine. 
it's pretty tricky anyway. Um, just to take over for a sec while I change lanes onto this bit and then back we go on navigate on autopilot across the harbour bridge northbound which didn't work last time so again will it react to the traffic lights ahead of me on top of me using navigate on autopilot yes it does there we go I'll cancel that one with the accelerator right it's one set reacts again and again, I said that previously that I, I, was, I would get used to using my foot, and I have, I think. Um, even in the course of this drive, I think I know how much pressure to apply now. I'll just use the stalk for this one. Did it react? No, it didn't react to this one. That's fine. Does it react to the next one? It wants the lane change. No, no it doesn't. Yes, it does. Okay, so I will lane change. Okay, just cancel that one with the stalk. Cancel that one with the stalk. Yeah, I still think it's more consistent with the stalk. Use the foot for that one. Use the stalk for that one. It's even picking up the traffic lights on the train track as well. Brake lights come on too, which is quite disconcerting, I'm sure, for uh, my fellow travellers. Okay, it wants to change lanes. That's fine. Which one will it pick, though? There's like a fork. Okay, it wants to go on that one. Okay. Yeah, that was reasonably smooth. Um, wasn't too bad. But nice to see Navigate back on uh, this update. Alright, well, I'm going to... Um... Alright, it's now back, back on basic. I'm gonna find some stop signs for you guys now, and uh, also some roundabouts. Be back very shortly. Okay, so I don't actually have very many uh, stop sign intersections in my local area, but um, we've got one here that I know of, so I will try this one and see how well it works. Just driving up to it now. Look at that, stopping for traffic control in 200 meters with a stop sign. Very cool. Let's see what it does. There's the stop sign. It's, there it is there, stop sign intersection. Ah, look at that. Probably not as close as I would like. Um, I would like to go a little bit further ahead because then I can see a bit more. Because with my view here, it's a little bit obscured by the hedges there on the right. But what I'll do now is just... Oh, autopilot and to proceed. That was weird telling me that uh, it's coming up now with the stop sign there, which is very cool. It's going to stop in 50 meters apparently. Oh, oh, no, no, that was a fail. No, that didn't work at all. There we go, stopping for traffic control in 100 meters. Let's see what happens. There's the stop sign there. Let's see where it ends up. Oh, it's a bit far back actually. I probably couldn't see as well. I'm just going to tap with the accelerator. There we go. Hmm. Okay, just uh, decided to stop halfway through the intersection there, not so good. Um, but I guess it stopped for me. Probably prefer to keep going through the light, through the uh, stop sign, but uh, it did stop in time, I guess. So yeah, for that one, I, I probably would have stopped a little bit closer without autopilot so I could see the whole intersection, but that's okay. It, the car stopped anyway. Hopefully it will improve with time with that intersection. I'll come back and try that one another day. Okay, time to do some roundabout testing. Stopping for traffic control in 50 meters, that's very cool. Shows up as a roundabout within a T intersection. All right, so it's stopping for me, which is nice. I'm just gonna tap my accelerator here. No, doesn't like the roundabout still, that's okay. But it did stop for the roundabout, which is nice. Okay, let's do another roundabout test. See what happens here. No indication whatsoever. Oh, there we go. Stopping for traffic control. Nice. Use accelerator to keep going. No, and then it doesn't like it. Okay, that's fine, but it at least picked it up that time. That's, uh, you know, hopefully the next update will actually take a roundabout properly. Okay, let's see whether it picks up this roundabout. Yes, it does. Stopping for traffic control. That's great. It's going to stop right at the line. That's nice. I'm just going to tap the... Oh, it's going to hit the side there, so I just took over. That's fine. OK, 
Okay, and we'll do one more stop sign test. Stopping for traffic control. I'm going to take over after this because obviously it's, uh, I can't let it go straight ahead for me. It's a bit dangerous, but it'll stop, I guess. Oh, unable to proceed. All right, interesting. Yeah, it won't let me anyway. Oh, good. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Hope you uh, like this video. If you did, please give it a like. Really appreciate that. And of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, have you tried um, traffic aware autopilot with stopping at stop signs and uh, traffic light yet on your Tesla? If you have, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and as always, happy charging.